So welcome back. For the first show, we're not doing bad so far. We're real excited this morning. We have candidate for Martin County Tax Collector, Caroline Barca. The queen of Los Lobos, and I'll let her explain that. Go, the Carol. queen of Los Lobos. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's a good question. What he's referring to is I graduated from the University of New Mexico. That's where I got my degree in business administration. Just so happened while I was going to college, I interned as a tax collector with the Department of Revenue, if you can believe that. So I've already worked as a in tax New Mexico. collector. Yes, in New Mexico, I worked as a tax collector. And that was 100 years ago, right? Well, it was well over 30. So yes, <laughs> seems, seems like 100 years ago. Now, where did you grow up or where are you from? Well, I mainly grew up in New Mexico, oh, okay. born in Rochester, New York, but really my roots are in New Mexico. And I moved to Stewart, Florida in 1995. So I've been here over 20 years. Oh, okay. And what yeah. brought you here? What brought me here is a business. This might not be as fun as what Leslie was saying earlier, but let me just say, for me, this was a lot of fun. I bought a mobile gas station in a very large convenience store. It was called the Plantation Pantry out on Hutchinson Island. A lot of locals know the, the store. I employed over 30 people. We had an amazing bakery, deli. We had fine foods, wines, fine cheeses, pâtés. I did a lot of catering, gift baskets, balloons. You name it, we had it all. Who's calling? It's always the way. Who's calling? Who knows? Is it your wife? No. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that, you gotta behave. Go for it. Well, really that's what brought me here was the business. And I worked at that for quite a few years and had a great time doing it. Well, good. Yeah. Now, how did you get involved in the tax collecting business? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Since, since I moved here, I've always worked for myself. After the mobile gas station and convenience store, I also developed two subway franchises, and I've been selling real estate in town for over 15 years. So I haven't been in the tax collecting business recently, but it's a position that comes available every four years, and somebody thought I'd be a good fit as tax collector, so I looked into some of the issues and said, yes, I'm going to run for that position. Now, you say you looked into some of the issues. What are those issues? Well, you know, the, the position of tax collector in, for me is really about serving the people. It's a big change in career because I just want to be of service to the community. It's a position that requires staying current with technology on a regular basis. It's a position that requires going often to the state and working with the Department of Revenue, dealing with the Department of Motor Vehicle. It's an important job and I would like to be the next tax collector. I want to perform all those duties that I'm talking about right now and most importantly provide the best office to all the citizens of Martin County, which is the Office of Tax Collector. It's the one office, Dick, that almost all citizens come into contact with. We sure do. You do. You, whether you get your driver's license, your birth certificate, perhaps you need to pay your taxes of some kind, property taxes, bed taxes, or you need a hunting and fishing license, you can do all that at the tax collector's office. I do mine in Palm City. Um, tell us a little about your personal life. I know you've got a husband, and he has a very interesting job uh, yes. under, under Will Snyder. Yes. Tell us to hear what he does. Yes. I call him my nice husband because they're not all nice. Les, you know, Leslie was kind of talking about earlier, but I have a nice husband. Uh, my husband is John Barca. He's lived here all his life. He has uh, had only two jobs, unlike me. His family uh, owned and operated the Admiral's Table, which is another iconic restaurant in town. And he worked there from age 12 to in his 20s. And he's been with the Martin County Sheriff's Office since then, since his mid-20s. And he is now their agricultural detective. So he works with cows and pigs and chickens and people on ranches, illegal dumping cases. He has quite an interesting job. And he's busy all the time. Mm -hmm. Let me just say he's always on call. And children? I have two great kids. I've been very fortunate. My daughter, Peyton, she's at the University of Florida. She's going into her fourth year of college. And I have my son, Noah Barca, who attends Jensen Beach High School. He's also a baseball player on the freshman team, JV team. Back to taxes. Back um, to taxes. I, he I heard you uh, speak at a... Uh, meeting one day and you discussed the technology in the collection of taxes yes. and things yes. that you felt that uh, need to be done there. Yes, yes. Well, you know, with the tax collector's office, what many of the tax collectors in the state of Florida have been doing is, is changing their system to iCloud to cloud-based software. And that's something that I would like to see done here in Martin County is, is take out these old servers and take the uh, the computer system and turn it into a software-based, cloud-based system. Do you think that the cloud is more secure than, let's say, the terrestrial 
locations where we keep everybody's data? It does. The cloud has layers of security. And with the cloud, you have unlimited storage. And with the cloud, you have fewer IT problems. And with the cloud, the the personnel and the staff, they're able to work more efficiently because there are fewer problems, the system uh, flows easier. It's, a, it's just the way people are, what they're moving towards. It's the way technology has changed and developed to is, is working with software that's cloud-based. And this would be something that would go about on an RFP basis and you would allow Google and Apple and everybody else to compete for the right to do business with well, us in Martin County? Good question, but typically there, you would probably work with somebody who already has a tax collector's software program. So you'd work with somebody who's developed software for other tax collectors and other, other governmental entities. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where might they find you next? Do you have any events coming up that... Uh I know last night the rain kind of killed your event yeah. uh, down at Terra Fumata. Oh, it's okay. There were still some people there. It was great. I, may, I did some networking, got some signs out, so that's always positive. But we have a, we're going to have another event at Terra Fumata, uh, another fundraising event, so that'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And um, really right now what we're primarily focused on, we have six more weeks or really almost two and a half months, but six weeks of hard campaigning, going door to door, meeting as many people as I can, preparing for mail outs, getting out and talking to all the citizens, all the businesses. I'm, I'm just everywhere, everywhere that I need to be to talk to the voters and people who have questions about about the uh, offices, all of, of a tax collector. I'm really trying to educate the people on what the tax collector does, because a lot of people don't know about the office. Mm -hmm. uh a lot of people um, may or may not know that uh, Caroline's team and other candidates, their uh, teams send out their announcements, their flyers, mm -hmm. and they show up in the announcements section at outtomartincounty.com. Yes. And so the next event that Carolyn may be to, I'm sure that we'll have the flyer, and uh, they will contact you based on the information that will be on the flyer, of course. Yes. I actually have one coming up in Indian Town at De oh, Stefanos. Go. I've got one coming up, I believe that's the... 15th of June on a Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock. We're going to have a nice little dinner and it's going to be a fun event. So I'm really hoping to bring as many people as, you, as I can. Have Karen send me that flyer. I'll get it up right away. I'll have Karen send that to you. That's right. Thank you. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, any l final parting words that you might have? I do. I have some final parting words. I just want to again say, it, my name, Caroline Barca, is very easy to remember because it's Barca is a crab spelled backwards. So I should be easy to find and easy to remember. It's five simple letters. You're not real crabby. No, and I'm not crabby at all. This is my demeanor is pretty much um, what you see right now. And how nice for a tax collector to have a good demeanor, right? And, Absolutely. and be friendly and approachable and available. But um, what else can I tell you about? We were talking about tax collector and how it does come into contact with all the citizens. And you mentioned the sheriff's office. That's another constitutional office that hopefully most citizens don't come into contact with. Think about it. We hope. We hope. We hope. That's right. But uh, tax collector, yeah, just about everybody comes and has to pass through that office in one way or another. Well, thank you for being here today. And we... My director is telling me to do something, and this is the first show, so... I can talk about the tax collector's office all day long if you'd like me Where to. can they get a hold of you? Well, I'll tell you where they Your can get a hold of me. Your contact information, that's what I'm supposed to ask. Again, I'm Caroline Barca. My email address is carolinebarca 4 martintccom So that's right here, Caroline Barca, the number 4, martin, M-A-R-T-I-N-T-C.com. I also have a Facebook page, Caroline Barca for Tax Collector. My Let's see my cell phone number. Call me on my cell phone. I've had the same cell phone number for over 20 years, and that's 772-485-2216. I want to get to know you. I want to hear your questions. I want you to know why I'm running for Martin County Tax Collector. I want your vote, August 30th. That is the primary election. So please, uh, if you're not registered to vote, please do that by August 1st. Make sure you know what your... Um, what your party affiliation is, and please, again, come out, whether it be uh, to vote. You can vote early, you can vote by mail, or you can come out to the polls on August 30th. Okay, we look forward. Thank you, Dick. Thanks for being with oh, us. Oh, thanks for having me. And don't go away, we'll be right back.